Hey, this is Andre, and you're listening to Learn and Become Podcast, an English learning podcast for you. What is up, guys? Welcome to episode number five of our podcast. Today, I have a message for you that want to become fluent in English as a foreign or studying English as a second language. Just as I am fluent in English, I know you can be, and I want to give you some tips so you can get there. I want to share four myths about the process of learning English and also the one thing you do need to become fluent. So let's jump into it. Myth number one. You need to be gifted to learn, which means you have to have special uh, knowledge or special intelligence in order to learn English. That is not true. Anybody, I repeat it, anyone, anybody can learn it. All right? Myth number two, you need to live abroad. You need to live in an English-speaking country. And that is not true either because... The world is out there in the internet, and you have the internet in your computer, you have it on your phone. So you can be in different places through the internet. So you can absolutely learn English online or even with a private teacher or through an English course. Uh, but the most important thing is you have to have experiences, experiences in English And that can happen in an English-speaking country, or you can create it in your own environment. Myth number three, you need to be young. If you are an adult, you can't learn English. That isn't true at all. I started learning English myself. I was 17. I was hitting my adulthood when I started, so if you're an adult, don't worry. You can still learn English. And number four, you need to have perfect pronunciation. That is a lie they've told you. You don't have to be perfect. You have to have the skill set for you to communicate, and that's it. You have to, to convey a message and to receive a message and understand, and that's it. So those are the four myths. And the one thing you absolutely need to have in order to learn and to be fluent in English and also in anything is discipline. And discipline is practice. You have to practice when you want to practice. You have to practice when you're tired. You have to practice when you're sick, when you're crying, when you're laughing all the time when you're sleepy when you're alert you do have to practice that is the key discipline is practicing is pressing on is working hard and you have to practice in your actions in your thoughts in your imagination practicing is the thing is a thing that it starts with within your thinking so you have to think about it you have to be you have to to think about it you have to consider practicing the most as you can this is a secret discipline it's practicing when you don't feel like doing if you want to be good at anything anything discipline has the power to take you there don't doubt it so if you want to be fluent in english be disciplined Put in the work, practice the most as you can, and you will get there, I promise to you. That's my, my message for you today, hope it helps, good luck in the process. I'm just here to encourage you and to say that it is possible and you can make it, alright? Thank you so very much, take care, and I'll see you in the next one.